Hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see how to use SQLite 3 in Python tkinter framework. SQLite is a C library that provides a lightweight disk-based database. That doesn't require a separate server process and allows accessing the database using a non-standard variant of the SQL query language. Some applications can use SQLite for internal data storage. Today we will create a contact management app in Python tkinter framework and we will use SQLite 3 for the database. You can install it using pip install py sqlite 3 command. This app has 7 labels to show saved contact details it has also 3 buttons to add and delete the contact and an exit button. When we press the add button, it will show a new window to enter the new contact details and a button to save it. When you run the app it will create a db file. In this code we named it contactdata.db. When entered a contact it will be on your internal storage and if you close the app and run it again you won't lose your data. About new topics in this video. A tree data structure is an algorithm for placing and locating files called records or keys in a database. The algorithm finds data by repeatedly making choices at decision points called nodes. A node can have as few as two branches also called children or as many as several dozen. And the fetch statement retrieves rows of data from the result set of a multiple row query one row at a time. Several rows at a time, or all rows at once and stores the data in variables, records, or collections. And a database cursor is an identifier associated with a group of rows. It is, in a sense, a pointer to the current row in a buffer. You must use a cursor in the following cases statements that return more than one row of data from the database server. A select statement requires a select cursor. Please like the video now. Comment me below. And subscribe my channel to support me. Let's code. Thank you. 